What's up, y'all? You see what time it is? Aeration time, big boy. Let me look, y'all. I'm in short sleeve weather. What it's all about in East Tennessee. Anyway, good morning, people. I want to show y'all what we did last year. We have only aerated and seeded this yard one other time. There's the neighbor's yard. She's trying to catch up with the neighbor. There's some spots right there. We did this yard last year and it looked just like that, y'all. Like that is how it looked when we aerated and seeded it last year in the fall. I wanna show you guys, you see a good look of it there, but I wanna show you guys, it looks good there, but the way they mow it and then that right there, that's the way it used to look when we did this lawn. But now we're aerating and seeding it again today. But if you look at it from the other view, it looks awesome. Like when you turn the corner right there, so you have to, the way it brought us up GPS is you come up this way and we had to make a U-turn right there. Show you guys what's up. Look at that growth, big boy. And they just cut this grass yesterday. Looks good, don't it, y'all? All right, y'all see the, y'all see the back? I'm gonna fix this spot right here. Bring it up, put some big old plugs in it. But we're gonna get them green again. She is very happy with the way it looks right now. The reason why we got this area job is because she heard that we did a better job than the last company that did it. Look at that spot there. You can see the tracks where they mowed. And you see the front. Do not worry about that little gully part. That little part right there, it holds water. So from that gully, up. So that's what's gonna take place. I'm gonna put y'all on pause. Annie may pick up the video and talk to you guys while I'm on the aerator and the mower. That's what I do. See, I use my zero turn, which happens to be Mustang, Troy built Mustang. That's all I do, I drag it behind, guys. We got $75 in this aerator. Just hook it to your mower. $30 and that hits. But some mowers, some lawnmowers come out like that better. Or not better, but some mowers come out with that hitch. So I'm gonna put you guys on pause and let you all, and I'm gonna get to work, and maybe Annie might pick it up and talk to you guys while I'm on the aerator. I'll get back with you. All right, guys, sorry I had my hand in front of it. Um, I just thought I would let you see him doing a little bit on the front yard and show you the plugs we're getting out of it. If I can uh, see to do that, sorry, let me block the sun a little bit. Looks like a little dog turd. <laughs> But uh, that's the size of plugs we're getting out of the front yard. This one is one we aerate all the time. We'll get him on the mower showing you his setup and how uh, he likes doing it. He'll go at an angle getting around that bird feeder there. The front yard, he is, we're only seeding half of it because of the way they're, uh, line is the water puddles down there so they're gonna have somebody come in and, and uh, even that up to where it's even with the sidewalk raise it up I guess so that um, it'll start growing the grass down there and not messing it up but you can clearly see on top of the grass how well it's plugging and aerating it so we can get the nutrients into the ground and now he's gonna reverse which they say not to do, but leave it to Mikey. I don't know how well y'all are seeing this, 
because I know the sun glare is pretty bad. I'll try to go to a different angle and see if uh, that will help. So bear with me. Let me go down here on the front porch and see if I can get a better shot where we're not directly in the sun. And again, you'll be able to see all the plugs laying on top of the uh, ground. He's working his way around and going about to go to the backyard. Like I said, right down through here, they really didn't want us to do much with because they're going to have to bring in dirt and lift this area up to make it even with the sidewalk because the water puddles here when it rains. Um, I'm new at this whole video and him, so bear with me. Yeah, there we go. I can clearly see now what I'm videoing. I couldn't before, so sorry if it's pretty bad. But like I said, you can clearly see all the plugs on the ground. And I'm going to pause this for a minute until he gets to the backyard. He's going to do a couple more swipes up here. And then uh, we'll get back with you on the backyard. All right, guys, I'm walking down toward the backyard. He's gone back through here to start in the back. I'm sorry about the sun glare. I'm not sure how well this is uh, videoing. But uh, I'll try to get down here where I can get a better view without the sun being directly angled at it. But as you can see, he, show, he showed you the before. Now this is us just aerating. We'll come through with fertilizer and seed after. And again, like I said, I'm sorry. I don't know how well the picture is going to be. But... She also has a line. Last year there was two rows of trees down there. Only six of them made it. But you can see how green it is. When we did this one last year, only half of the yard was even green, if that. So this lady has us come back and do it every year. And it's clearly working and paying off. The brown spots are... Uh, where she's been pulling up the Bermuda grass she really hates. So we've got the few brown spots here, but over here in the front too, you can see she hates the Bermuda grass. We're trying to get rid of that for her and bring in, get the other grass to sit, to play out. And like I said, I'm not sure how well you can see, but that was a whole bunch of Bermuda grass right in there. We're trying to get it to cover it over and get that out of here and get her some good grass but our aerator like you said I think we paid very little for it and it's paid for itself a hundred times over again something I found on uh, marketplace or he found We will get the uh, GoPro up and running though. That way I can hook it to his mower. And then I gotta figure out an editing software and all of that to be able to learn how to do the videos for him. So that you're not having all this slow space in between and <laughs> watching somebody go back and forth forever. But I figured I'd just touch base and show you how well the backyard aerates too. Um, again, on the front yard, we're not doing a whole lot to it because they're going to come in and dig a lot of that up to level it out some. So, I will uh, pause it for now, guys, and we'll show you the seeds in a little bit. All right, y'all. We just got gas at the King Kinjo or the bird, whatever that bird Road is. Runner. Road runner. We are headed to the next one. And again... I got to get my phone calls under control. I am going to jump off here and make a few phone calls. I will try my best to make another video today of the grass cuts. And we're supposed to go burn a bush down because it's got wheat, bees in it. And the only thing I know to really do about that bush is burn it down. Because I, Annie got stung last year. What? 
the bees are in the ground underneath the underneath the roots. Or they're in with the roots. So we're just going to burn it. That way we ain't got to worry about them. All right, guys. I'll catch you back later on another video today. Be looking. Love you guys. Bye.